Hello everyone. In the last video, we have done insert record employee into the Firebase real-time database. And we already created some methods to update and delete the records also. But we not actually made that with the properly UI yet. And this video, we gonna make that with the recycler view and let's grow pagination. So without further ado, let's get started. For first, we're gonna add new dependencies which we we'll use. One is for recycler view, and the other one is card view for design the item recycler view. And it is optional for use just for better look. We're gonna insert a button to open new activity, which will show the list of the data in the recycler view. So let's go to the main activity XML file, and we're gonna insert a button. And I have the ID is btn underscore open. And then we're gonna create a new activity to load the recycle view inside. And we're gonna call this RV activity. We change this constraint layout to the linear layout. And then we're gonna place the swipe refresh layout. This swipe refresh layout will use to load the new page. I mean, when we go to the next page, we're gonna show that piece of the cycle that's overlay on the recycle view. And we can use this for a swipe down to refresh the data list. So we have to set outside the recycle view. And the ID is uh, swipe. And then we insert the recycle view inside that with the ID or we, which is recycle view a short name. Now we need a layout item inside that recycle view. So create a new layout. We're gonna name this layout underscore items dot XML. So this layout we're gonna use a card view and width is gonna be match parent and height is wrap content. About the margins, that's gonna be a 2dp so that we can see the gap between those items. Then we're gonna insert a linear layout. That's because we want to create a layout which have a separate between left and right. And the left is for the image display and we're gonna set the width and height 96dp and the source image is the Google standard image. And at the right, we're gonna insert a new linear layout. And this is gonna be a vertical because we want to display text top to button. At first tech view, we're gonna display the name of the employee so we're gonna set the size to 20 SP for like a front size and set the margins bottom a little bit and the ID is the txt underscore name and then we're gonna add a new tag view for position and the ID is a txt underscore position so now we have a layout item and we have to create an adapter recycle view to bind this layout with the recycle view. So let's create a new Java class. We're gonna call this um, RV adapter. And then we extend it from the recycle view adapter. So now we implement the methods. So there are three methods to implement it. So we need a constructor to receive the context from the activity so that we can use it later on with the inflate layout or any methods which require a context. And then we have to define an array list with just like a data container. We will use it some methods below and we have to create a method for set the items collection into the array list. So we're gonna create a method set items with a parameter array list employees. And then we call list objects 
at all collection means we append the data into this array list. Okay. So in on create view holder, we gonna inflate using inflate dot from the context, and then we inflate with the layout item. And this will return as a view and the view is contain the stored text and the image and we have to find the reference id so to do this we have to create new view holder we just like we find those control items in so we create a new java class employee vh and we extend it from the recycle view dot holder and it is required to create a full constructor and this constructor is required parameter which is view and then now we define a public stack view name and a stack position and then we can find those reference id by the item view Okay, now we can use this class in the RV adapter. And now we're gonna start buying the data with the item layout in on bind view holder method. And this we have a parameter view holder, which is the super class of the employee view holder. And that's we have implement at the moment. So to get those properties, we're gonna casting that holder to the employee view holder class. And then we can uh, get the employee via the array list and the index position. And now we start set the text to those text view name and the text position. Okay, last we return the size of the array list in this method. Get item count. Okay, now we're gonna go to the RV activity to implement the risk of view. At first, we define the objects from the URI, which is a swipe refresh layout, and the risk level view. And then we find by the reference ID. For the risk level view, we're gonna set height fix size with the true status. After that, we're gonna call the adapter that we have created at the moment, and we call the new instance, the object, and pass the context, this as a parameter. Okay, we're gonna make this adapter to the global because that we will use it later on in other methods. Okay, so we're gonna set the adapter to the recycle view by saying recycle view objects dot set adapter and we pass the adapter inside it. And now we just set up the adapter with the risk of view, but the data is not yet initiated. So in the arrow class, we're gonna create a new method to get the data from the Firebase. And that method we're gonna call that get and return value as query object. We do this because we can listen the objects in the RV activity and we easily custom whatever we want. So let's create that public query and the name is get and then we call the database reference dot order by key now let's go back to our activity again and then we start instance new the object to access that method and we're gonna set into the global object which we can access in the other method and now we're gonna create a new private methods for working only the load data. We're gonna call that load data. So inside that we call zero dot get and then add value event listener. And we can implement the methods which are on data chain and on cancel. Okay, now in on data chain methods we'll call and drop the data as the objects of a data snapshot over here. And this data snapshot, we're holding a batch of the employee objects. But as in the structure, 
we have to access the children to get those objects. So by saying snapshot dot children and this method will return the list of these nodes. So I'm gonna loop with this. Then we can get the object employee via the get value methods. And we pass the employee class, which is the model class. So now we can use the employee objects. And then we are gonna append it into the temporary array list. Okay, we append it to the array list. After that, we set that item into our adapter and set the items. So when we change or modify the data in the risk view, we have to call adapter dot notify data set chain and this let the items in the risk view know that there is something change. Okay, we already defined this risk view and the data in RV activity. And now we have to call this activity from the main activity, which we have inserted the button open in the layer of XML. So we're gonna find that button and we set the action click button. Intent new and intent for the first parameter and this activity. And then we open the RV activity. So the last we're gonna call start activity methods to launch the activity. Okay, now we start running this app for testing. We are doing without the pagination. And we just get all the data from the Firebase to display in the risk view. Okay, we have made the mistake at the beginning that we didn't insert the layout nature to the recycle view. So just go to the top in on create method and then we insert these two lines over here, which means we set the layout nature to the recycle view. Okay, and then we gonna testing once again. Okay, now we gonna click the button to open the new activity. And there are the data list from the Firebase in the risk view, which is following the order top from the button. Okay, so we complete the retrieved data from the Firebase, and then we're gonna move to the next step for the paging the LS scroll. So let's go back to the RV activity class, and then we're gonna implement add on scroll listener with the risk view. Okay, so in this method, we gonna implement by checking the last visible item from the layout. So we can check if the we scroll and reach the last item, we gonna load some more data, means that we load the next page. Okay, we gonna say recycle view dot get layout manager, and then we gonna cast this to the linear layout manager. And we gonna set into a variable. So now we can use the method get item count, which is return all the number of the items that exist in the risk view. And then we're gonna get the position, which is um, find last completely visible item position, which is return the position that we have scrolled from the top. Means we count from the top until what we can see the elements layout item. So we gonna check if the total items is less than last visible. And for that last visible position, we gonna add more value so that we can refresh the data. And then we have to define a variable is load more, which is a Boolean value for check if we in the progressing fetching the data and we don't have to request the network again. So here we gonna check if it's not load anymore. We're gonna call that method load data. And then we set the status to true. Okay, actually we need to know the last item that we fetched from the Firebase in order to make the paging. Uh, it's mean that for example, we have a long sequence items and we know that every eight items we have a key to split those items as a page. So we can go through like a pagination. Okay, 
So now I gonna define a string key as null. And then inside this method load data, we gonna assign the value key in loop here. Okay, so we can get the last key from the items. Okay, and now we're gonna set the swipe refresh layout before the load data is true. And then after loading, we're gonna set it to false. For the error, we're gonna set it to false too. So we have to pass the key string into the method get. And we will do the logic paging in that method. So this method, when we initialize the first time, the key must be null. So we're gonna return the first page, which we're gonna limit the top eight with the order by key and else, which is mean the next page. So I'm gonna copy this and we're gonna use the method start after. And we're gonna place the key inside that. So it means we get the next eight items. Okay, over here, just remember that the parameter is following by the ordering here, which is ordering by key. So start after will know the key only, not an other fields. Okay, so we're gonna run once again. And we're gonna open up the activity again. And we can see that when I scroll down, the status is loading here, which means it is loading the next page. Okay, I think it's a long video, so I decided to split it up. For the next, we will implement over this project how to edit, update, and remove the items in the regular view. Hope you guys learned something in this video. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.